of the 2018 version of the sneak preview. And he was a member of Don James' last recruiting class and uh, Pac-10 first team selection. He finished his UW career with uh, six in receptions for tight ends. He ended up a second round pick and the first tight end taken in the 1998 NFL Draft and his career in the league spanned eight seasons. He played with the Saints, the Patriots, and the Rams. I want you guys to put your hands together for our Husky legend, Cam Cleveland. First of all, I'm the old guy now that walks around. 
around and goes, remember those old guys who come back and watch practice? I'm a stinking old guy. Anyway, Brad calls up my dad, who went to Tempe High School. That's the connection in Arizona. And my dad was a gospel singer growing up. So I used to travel around and I'd watch him sing, and I was embarrassed. I'd sit in the back corner as your dad would yell, he's a bass. He goes, dudes that sing like this. <laughs> so I got his voice. I should shut up. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> so Brad asked my dad, he goes, hey, would you, would you want to come sing? And I mean, my dad goes, of course I would. At halftime. What? <laughs> yeah, halftime. <laughs> so we're lining up, we're in the tunnel. We get, a, we get the game going, and it's halftime. If I remember, it's halftime, right, Brad? It was halftime. So we get up in the tunnel, the old tunnel, and I'm in those old doors where where it was inside, and the doors are open, and then they're closing, and Coach Lambright's talking to us, and we're getting our game plan, because it's a close game, we're playing Arizona State, it's a good game, all of a sudden, we're getting ready to come out, and one of the media directors opens the door, and all I hear is, God! And I went, oh. <laughs> God bless America part of what my dad was saying. Took me back to when I was a little kid, and I was slightly embarrassed. Who gets embarrassed by their parents? Still. <laughs> Still. But I, I, I love my old man. He took care of me. He, he, was, he was a great part about being with the band. And that was one of my stories of, of it would, to have my dad get a chance to sing with that. And we had, did I lose? We had two unbelievable coaches come up here and talk. Well, what about this guy who's been here this long? Like that? What about this guy who's been here for this long? I'm content as long as I can remember. That's, that's what's impressive to me. For a football player, though, here's the thing, it's the band. You guys, you guys may have heard this analogy before, the band is like football. It is. If you think about it, you have your leader, your coach. You have your different instruments. You have your different sections. You have all the things and the commitment, the discipline that it takes to be great. It's just like football. You may not think that way all the time, but it's true. The practice you gotta put in, the effort you gotta do, the time and the commitment, all those things you have to do, it's incredible. That's why it's so important. So what I did is I kind of made a fun little deal. I said, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's see some of the, I know some of the bands are back there, but let's see if, if I was to compare football positions to positions in the band. So I thought this, let's start with the quarterbacks. We have drum majors maybe, drum majors and quarterbacks. They're really, they're flashy boy, well, I'll tell you what. They look really good, they're out in the front. So if you are a drum major, if you have been, please don't be offended if I make a mistake, please. I say apologies every day on the air. I don't need any more apologies. <laughs> so quarterbacks, you're there. They're kind of those leaders. And you got your head coach directing. And everybody's doing movements. And you're very coordinated. It's really good. It's structure. Discipline, structure. It takes a great time of practice to be good at that. I get it. Same with football. So then I went into, who are the, who are the, the drummers? They're intense. Fast. No, 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 they're linebackers and D-linemen. They're crazy. There's a little bit of crazy in there with that, right? Am I, is, am I off? Am I off a little bit? Drummers, maybe? No, they're looking at the side. Right? He's like, right, I can't do it. Okay. Exactly. They, they enjoy hitting things. Football players enjoy hitting things, too. Uh, and then I kind of went in and I went, you know, who are the high-maintenance people of the band? Who are the divas? Ones that need all the efforts. Got to make sure everything's clean. Make sure my stuff is right. Got to make sure to do those things are right. Who are those? You guys help me out. I kind of went, is that, is it? And then I was asking my we were like, okay, wait a minute. Who, who could it be? Is it, is it the wood ones? Is it, is it the flutes? It's got to be the flutes. It's a little instrument. they got to be perfect. Trumpets. Gotta be. See, that's why I want to rely on you. I gotta get the feedback. Okay, I'm gonna give you that time. Linebackers for me were definitely woodwinds because when I first started, when I was in fourth grade, fifth grade, I started playing saxophone all the way through until I was a freshman in high school. Yeah. So I was like, this is cool. I played alto, and then, you know, I did that tenor, and I was, I thought that was cool. So that's why I also bumped into the linebackers because linebackers are pretty. They're cool. They put their tough. Right. But high maintenance is wide receivers. Those of you know, the wide receivers are divas. That's all they do is talk. <laughs> all they do, all they do is want the ball. They, they forget they never block. Most people say no, they can block. They block you. Not always. And then I went into the best group of all. The kickers. No, I'm kidding. There's the kickers. We put them way off over there when right? they kick, and then they're important like twice a game. So man, everybody's important. So we won't talk about kickers. I love kickers. Right. Uh, 
Then there's the O-line. The O-line are the dudes. They're the dudes, aren't they? No, they're the dudes. The best, best group. You want to, you want to party with them. Yeah! That's who you want to party with. You want to go to their house. They got all the cool stuff. You know, they're gonna have all the fun things to do. They're gonna be. They're gonna tell you what they feel every chance they get. Too. They're gonna let you know. Yeah. That is. Do you see the correlation of the football player? It's the same stuff. We're all the same. We just kind of do different stuff. Uh, for me, the band. And I, I'm at, excuse me, I wrote stuff down because you know I played a long time in football. We all know every football players are crazy and you forget things. So I had to write stuff down. The band brings something to me every time I hear it. Now, I played eight years in the NFL. I played in every stadium. I played in college stadiums. There's nothing like Husky Stadium. There's nothing like the sound of the bands about what they do. And I'm telling you, the nostalgia it brings me, it makes me shit. I still get shivers when I think about it because that's how important it is. So what I did is, excuse my props. I'm going to have my phone. Anybody use phones nowadays for props? I ranked Cam Cleveland's power ranking of Husky Band songs. And I downloaded them on my phone. And I wanted to list in my power rankings and give you what I remember about that song. So starting off, number one is I power rank, and I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one. And if I start dancing, it gets better. Okay. And I can do that as I do that. My memory of that. My, it's just, I can see myself right out there against Notre Dame in the third quarter, and I can know it's a TV timeout, and I know that song is going on. And I have my back is to it, and Brock Hewitt's talking in my ear, and Damon's talking in my ear, whoever the game quarterback was, that didn't listen to him. <laughs> and I know that song is going on, and that's how I remember it. You may not think we as football players don't hear it, we hear it, and it's memory. See, I told you I screwed up. Okay. Power ranking number four. Of course. What happens after this song is done? We win. <laughs> That's why it meant so much. Because I know at the end of the game when all the true fans bolted out, we're out there celebrating, we know that feeling when we're walking off the field. That memory for me, it's immediate. It goes right in my head. It's just like that. Okay? And, and, and here, here's this is number three now. Number three. Okay. Shh. <laughs> if I'm going to say Rose Bowl over and over again every time I hear this song, <laughs> that, that's exactly what I think of. Again, my memories are crazy. These are, these are things that will stick in, in the head a thousand times. I'm not joking. That's just part of the sport. But. Here's number two. Now are we getting, we're getting close. Now before I say the fight song, by the way, Coach B, I learned a fight song the first week I was a freshman. I can still sing it now. I can sing it on the radio on a chair in Portland, heckled by dog fans. I can say I won that day. Okay. Number two. Of course it's the key, of course it is. You know where you're at. I can tell you where I'm sitting. I can tell you what I'm thinking. I can tell you where I'm standing on the sideline when I'm hearing it. Okay. Now this one's special to me. This song, number one, you're really like, oh, it's Cam's number one. What's it going to be? This, you know, I don't know if you still do this, Brad, but on Thursday practices when I was there, the band used to come out for night practices, and he used to walk right along the track during our practices, and they would play. And they would play during our practice because Coach thought it was, we need noise on road games and stuff. We need that noise. But that was awesome. This song, I can still tell, I can, I, when I close my eyes, I can still see myself standing and all the rest of the group, we would start dancing. Only because that song was this. Number one. Number one for me because of that memory. It's still. I'm sorry, that was. You want me to play louder? Oh, I need a speaker. Johnny Key. So, Johnny, that. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if you guys would play that like real briefly, that would be really cool. <laughs> but I, just, I, 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 
I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know how to play it or not. Thank you, Cam, for being our Husky legend tonight. 